Dear Mom and Dad, Sorry I haven't written in a while, but things are a little hectic over here. Local gorillas have been attacking more frequently. They haven't been doing a lot of damage, but they do keep everyone on edge. Fortunately, we think we know where they're staging from. There's a small village to the southwest of Da Nang that seems to be the focus of their activity. We're heading out to search the hamlet and drive out any Viet Cong we find. It shouldn't be too dangerous. We'll be riding in armored personnel carriers, and the VC usually just run when they show up. Zook will be leading us out again. We're also taking along the reporter, Morris Schiffer, from the network news. I don't think they'd let him come if it was going to be really dangerous. Hey, maybe you'll see me on TV. Oh, forgot to tell you guys something last letter. Pat Hodges from Tulsa will be joining the squad in a few weeks. He was our fullback on the football team. The Marines are actually teaching him Vietnamese. Can you believe that? Anyway, don't worry too much about me and tell Jamie to stay out of trouble. Love, Dean. My last time out with Zook, I greased 10 gooners all by myself. Real number 10 shit, man. The pastors never even knew what hit him. Pop, 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 pop. Tin cans lined up on a wall. <laughs> yeah, you are bad motherfucker, all right. Ain't he bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's bad, all right. <laughs> I wonder if this tin can's gonna get us close to the bill. God damn it! We're grounded. Looks like you boys gotta get out and hump it from here. The other APCs are grounded too. Not close enough, I guess. Shit! You guys waiting for a formal invitation? Move! Jungle rock, tearing my feet up. I can't hardly walk. Sniper, that's rock take and roll. Ah. The APC. Ah.
slight change of plans. Without the APCs, we don't have a direct route through the jungle. We're gonna have to take a slight detour to get to the Ville. Let's move it! Get down to that creek bed! All right, I want you three to take point. Move down this creek bed a few clicks. There should be a path somewhere along the creek bed that leads north into the jungle. We'll bring up the rear. Hey, hey, wait a minute. We're going with the on-point squad. Someone give you a field promotion? I'm in charge here. Your ass is staying with me. I was given specific orders to babysit both your butts. <laughs> yeah, you guys make sure you get some good footage, you hear? I can it, asshole. Hey, Hoss. I bet you're used to stomping around waist deep in shit, ain't you? <laughs> Probably reminds your ass of home, don't it? Shit, Charlie, 12 o'clock. Greasy, why didn't you light him up? What if it's just a villager? Yeah, right, just a villager. They're pinned down. Let's move it. This is the Ville. It doesn't take a friggin' Einstein to figure out that this place is probably hostile. Flush and frag, ladies. I want every hooch searched and cleared. Watch your fire around the villagers. Move out. Oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> 
Haha, <laughs> looks like Walter Cronkite just shit himself. Hey, I hope you got that on film. probably rigged with a hundred traps. What about Hayes? We can't just leave him. We'll come back for him after we're done. I hate it as much as you, but we gotta clear the Ville. We won't leave him behind. Now let's haul ass. Those fuckers gonna pay for what they did to Hayes, man. I shit you not. Chill out, Smooth. There are gonna be a lot of friendlies in there who had nothing to do with this. Keep your head on straight. Keep your hands where I can see him. Please, you do not kill us, please. Hold your fire. It's just a mama son. She's a friendly. Stand down. Horse shit, man. This place is Charlieville. Hey, cool it. You start blasting every villager, you wind up creating a lot more VC. Mama son, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie.
Everyone okay? Anyone hurt? Where's that candy-ass reporter? Get over here, grunts. We gotta locate this glory hound reporter and his fat-ass sidekick. Spread out and find him. Now look alive! Oh, man. I thought that was it for me. Good work, Don. We got some, uh, really good footage from over there. You men, uh, <clears throat> you should be proud. Mm-hmm. America's just gonna love the footage of you shitting your pants. In color. Zippo job, ladies. I want these hooches burned to the ground. 
You sure about that, Lieutenant? Ain't these hoochers their homes and shit? Those are the orders, men. It ain't pretty, but we leave these structures standing, and Charlie comes back next week and uses them as a base of operations. Now fan out and burn them. You have a wife and kids, Lieutenant Trazer? That's my business. Well, my business is the news. How does this make you feel, ordering the squad to burn the homes of women and children? You see any women and children around here, asshole? Maybe you were too busy hiding in a hole to see, but we just got cream down here. Okay, we got an LZ a few clicks from here. First, we'll have to collect our KIAs. Shepard, take his raggedy ass to the LZ. You two, go with him. Clear it and radio for a slick. The rest of you, come with me and grab the KIAs. We'll move there as soon as we can. Now go! If you're having trouble carrying that camera, you might want to leave it behind. Don't even think about it, Don. I'm sure these Marines. Surrounded. Seahorse! Hey! Hey! We're down here! Oh, my God. Donald, make sure you film me as I'm running toward the helicopter, okay? It'd be a great way of ending the scene. MOS, whatever, I don't care. Just get the visual. Right. Let's go! Is that guy for real?
Here we see a group of U.S. Marines on patrol. One of their squad mates was cut down by a booby trap set by Vietnamese women trying to defend their homes against the unprovoked and unwelcome U.S. presence. Your all-American boys decided to exact revenge for their loss. They burned the entire village to the ground. These colors never run, not even from women and children. Morris Schiffer, KBN News. Dear son, your mother and I saw some footage of your unit on TV the other night. They showed some shooting and spent a lot of time showing Marines burning down huts. Your mother said it reminded her of the stories your grandma told her about Tulsa in the 20s when they burned down the black neighborhoods here. That newsman sure didn't think too highly of what was going on either. Son, I know we don't always get the whole story over here. And I know that sometimes in war, you just have to do some things that aren't pretty. You've got to follow orders and let your conscience be your guide. Remember, a man's always got a choice. You never have to do something if you know it's wrong. Your mother and I think about you every day and hope you are safe. Everybody at church is praying for you. Take care of yourself, Dean. Love, Dad.